People have probably renovated their house. And the first question you always ask is, well, what's it going to look like? And the digital twin replicates that and can show you the future now. Bonjour, mon nom est Jean-François Dionne. Je suis stratège en solutions géospatiales pour la ville d'Ottawa. The city is a very, very big data set. And the perfect vision is having all of these systems talking to each other. The digital twin is a way to bridge those gaps. It's going to revolutionize the way we look at the world. 2D is, is top down, 3D is anywhere to anywhere. And then you put that 4D in piece with time scale things moving, it changes your perspective in every possible way. You can see it exactly as it would look in real life prior to the building actually being built. It is very simple for a planner to create structure from a site plan uh, and attach some data to to the design so i created these boxes and i created the form the shape and we scan a quick uh, lidar look and feel to see what it would look like from the streetscape we could have created a bunch of scenarios on that building and then we can put that to the public rather easily people have been working on these plans for a long time but this brings it all together in one spot and allows you to have those plans interact and policies interact with each other. They're not done in isolation now. It's difficult to interpret some of those documents and by visualizing it, people can begin to understand what they actually mean once you can see it. So it takes it from the conceptual, theoretical to reality. We started to ask questions that we didn't know we could have asked because we have this data and the um, spatial systems in place. We're humanizing data because we can sit in and amongst it in ways that we couldn't have before. The ability to go from uh, a top-down view of the world to a 3D one is, is one in which it comes alive. The GIS platform allows us to put out there a corporate view of data when we have authoritative data sets so that when different departments are working with this data, they know they are working with the gold standard of data. They're seeing the same information across the city so that they know that they're making decisions based on good data. Going forward, there's huge opportunities to be able to increase data transparency and share this information with the housing sector, both private and not-for-profit. This idea of being able to see you know, all your underground utilities before even starting a project is a game changer. I think anybody who's working in new projects would love to get access to this data early on in the pre-design process even, because it reduces risk. In order to get more housing built, we need builders to build. Um, and again, those builders traditionally do come from the private sector. What the private sector needs is certainty. They need to understand what the rules and regulations are that they operate within. They need transparency into the processes and they need uh, understanding of timelines. They will be able to bring forward projects that will, again, increase our housing supply. I think one thing we've seen over the last 10 years is that spatial data has transformed from what was a very small world uh, of smaller data sets into a big data world. A and spatial is important because it's in just about every data set. I want everybody to say, yeah, this looks cool. I think we got a really, really good, strong product that will be very, very beneficial to redefine the way we share data in the city as a whole. I'm trying to break those silos apart and making some connections between um, departments. And this is really that platform that can do that, that bring, can bring those symbiotic uh, relationship between those data sets.